Hey everybody, it's Mike again, coming to you from inside my ham shack. How you doing? Uh, I got a bunch of stuff running on the TV, right, on the monitors right now, running FT8 over there. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to tell you about what we're going to talk about tonight. Tonight we're going to talk about the Elk antenna, along with the uh, video that Rob, W5ITR, made on the new 3D printed handle for the Elk antenna. And I have to say, I got mine made up for me. Somebody, I paid somebody like 50 bucks to print it for me because I don't have a 3D printer and I don't want to become a 3D printer guy. That's not me. So <laughs> I had somebody do it for me. Anyway, long story short, here's a little video of me putting it together. We're not having a, uh, a podcast tonight because of the fact that number one, we're having major storms in Florida, possible tornadoes until about 10 o'clock tonight and a big cold front's coming through. So it's gonna be crazy out there. So probably won't be on the radio, probably won't be doing a live stream at 6 p.m. Eastern. So if you're seeing this video, that means I didn't do the podcast. I'm just doing a live stream on this antenna. Just made it up today. Got this in yesterday. It works great. So with no further ado, let's uh, check out the new handle for the Elk antenna. It's streamlined, it's light, and it's strong. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, Rob's using it now. I'm gonna tap his brain and find out how he gets his phone mounted on there. But in the meantime, I got the handle mounted on the antenna and you can check that out right here. So this is KO4 PDI, enjoy the video. Talk to you soon. Hey everybody, it's Mike, KO4 PDI. I got something to show you today. Watch this. This is my elk antenna that I use when I'm doing satellites portable with an HT, I like to use this with my Wushan radio. You can see it's a log periodic. It's got a ton of elements, one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 elements on it. And uh, this is what I use to do satellites. Now, see this giant PVC handle here that I'm holding on to? Yeah, that's nice. But thanks to Rob, uh, Whiskey 5 ITR, Rob came up with a better solution as a handle, this little baby. Let me get a little closer so I could show it to you. This is a 3D printed handle with a little foam handle you get on Amazon. If you watched Rob's video, which I did post his video on my group on Facebook, you can get this handle made for you, which I did. So right now we're gonna take this PVC off of here and make this the handle. And you're looking at it going, how's that gonna happen? Keep watching, we'll show you. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this PVC handle. There's nothing wrong with this PVC handle. It's just big and bulky and I don't like it. So no need for any of this. What's gonna happen is we're going to remove these last two elements. So we just unscrew this one. Yeah, let's get that off. That's the red elements are the ones we're taking off. And there are two screws that hold the red elements in. We're gonna take those off too with a Phillips head screwdriver. Oops. Now to start with, this is 3D printed. I'll give you a real close up. I picked the color blue when they 3D printed it for me. The file is listed on my Facebook group. On Facebook, you can get the file to design this. If you have your own 3D printer and you wanna make this, you can get the file right off my Facebook group uh, ham fun with ko4 pdi if you don't have the file uh, you can find uh, rob the digital rancher you can go on his youtube video he, he gives the links to the file to build this i don't know anybody that has a 3d printer that would make this for me so what i did was i found a service online they got it done in less than a week less than a week i had this and uh, it basically comes without this cushion on it. This cushion you can order on Amazon. I'll give you the link to that too. And this is the handle. Now we're gonna install this on the Elk antenna. The nice thing is you don't need all that PVC anymore. The only problem is I gotta figure out a way to mount my phone on here <laughs> or build something else for that. Anyway, all right, keep watching. We're gonna show you how to do it. So right here, we're gonna remove these two elements these two screws that hold the red elements in. We're gonna remove them. So unscrew them with a Phillips head screwdriver. You need to get these out of the way. Don't worry, you're gonna put them back in a minute. 
but you remove these you're starting to get the picture how this thing hooks up it's pretty damn simple very ingenious whoever came up with this and I'm, I'm sure the guy that came up with it he's sharing the file willingly so he's not looking to make any money with it he's just trying to uh, sell a few of them all right so we take this off so we removed the element screws and now we're taking out this nylon spacer that is right here on this bolt. We're taking that out. Let's put that aside. The reason we're taking that out is the handle itself becomes the spacer. Watch. Slips. There we go. See that? See the holes right there? That's where the screws that hold the elements on are gonna go. And now we can put those red elements on. They go here. line up right we'll fix that and here looks like I actually sucked them in too far get in there baby but look at the difference you could either use this handle which that's the whole shooting match right there one thing I don't like about these log periodics the elements love to loosen up just by moving it around and shaking it you loosen up the elements Okay, so now you could have had this handle or this handle. I don't know, I like this better. This looks much, much easier, lighter to carry around. I could still get a tripod mount. I could put a tripod mount right here pretty easily. I can even put one on, on the handle here if I want. Um, but the, the great part about it is it's uh, light, very comfortable to hold. There you go with the blue handle that I got on Amazon. The Amazon handle was cheap too. So this is now how I will use this antenna when I'm doing portable satellite work. Pretty nice, huh? Just gotta figure out a way to mount my phone on here and uh, possibly uh, hook up my radio. My radio hooks up to this PL, uh, SO239 up here. I'll just run a, co a coax down here and connect it to the radio down by my hand. So. There you go. That's the log periodic, the elk log periodic with the 3D printed new handle. That was, uh, I first learned about it from Rob, Digital Rancher, uh, W5 ITR. And uh, there you go. So there it is. Simple, you did, did it with you right here. You watched me do it live. Take care everybody. Thanks for watching.